Hey, it's all and it's way too early for me to do a reaction video, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just this morning, Blizzard finally revealed what is happening in patch 10.2.6. And that is this thing, the Plunderstorm. I've seen the video. I've read some reactions from chat. Um, I barely remember all the things that Plunderstorm is about, but we're going to talk about it anyway. And... I'm going to share what I think. I'm going to invite you folks in for a conversation. What do you think? Was this worth the secrecy? Is this going to be worth the wait? Um, and well, let's just get right to the basic facts of what's going on with this new game mode, Plunderstorm. Now, this is going to be an experience that uh, all WoW subscribers will be able to participate in. Doesn't matter if you only play the classic era games. Uh, doesn't matter if uh, if you play Dragonflight or if you play, you know, not even Dragonflight. You just play the modern client, but you don't have. Dra anyway, anyone can get into this as long as you're paying this up. Okay. What's going to happen is that you'll be able to like log into the game, but not log into your character. There's going to be pretty much a whole separate game mode for you, for you, the player. And it's basically a lobby game. It is basically a battle royale style game. If you think of uh, uh, PUBG, if you think of Fortnite, you just have your character. You can probably customize the look of it. And then you get dropped right in to this 60 person battle royale kind of experience where you're hunting for stuff. The gameplay is going to be entirely different because you're not going to be able to choose a class. You just have like this blank character template. And you, you know, when you drop in, you'll pick up abilities that will help create a kit for your class. It almost feels like a, the, the kind of experience that you can play on your controller almost because there's only going to be so many different buttons and abilities that you'll be able to get. You can collect abilities during a match uh, and, and customize your character. But just like a battle royale, the the fighting arena is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller, which is going to push people together. Eventually, there's going to be PvP happening, and then one person will be left standing, and then they'll be able to get away with, I don't even know what, the glory. This is very different. <laughs> this is really, really different. Um, because it's basically not World of Warcraft. This is a essentially a different game that is that is using the wow client in order to create this sort of this sort of experience but there are things that are going to connect us back to the game as in rewards now the way that it's been the way that it's been described and i'm going to have like video you know links to like the video and all that stuff that's that's going to go over it we'll be able to at least complete some objectives or do like some of the early game stuff and then get rewards that go on a renowned track. And this renowned track will unlock cool stuff for both people who play the modern and the classic game. They'll be able to get stuff and take that to their characters into the main part of the game. So for people who are just very reward oriented, the fact that this is only going to be a several week event, we should expect, even with casual play, to get everything that we want from this mode even if we're not like into the whole PVP side of things, if we want to just like dive in and be like, hey, let's explore, because there are going to be PVE elements into it, because, you know, there are like kind of like leveling components to uh, to this game mode where eventually players will be able to like put their skills against each other. But if you're just going to be playing by yourself, it sounds like you'll be able to have this whole experience for yourself, play through the early game and then probably just leave or get killed. Preferably, preferably just leave, because that'd be a less violent way of, of getting getting what you want. Now, we don't know what the experience is like yet. Uh, you know, few, if anyone, have, have checked this out on the PTR uh, outside of, like, devs and, and whatnot. Uh, but this is different. This is really, really different. And, and reactions aren't going to feel complete until we really, like, get ourselves into it. Right now, all we have to react to and to, you know, to, to emotionally react to are really what we've read and what we've seen. And so far, I'm not going to pass judgment yet, but, but I want to make clear, like, I haven't played through any, like, sort of any game like this before. I've never played a Battle Royale style game because 
mostly because I'm not good at uh, shooting because uh, most of those battle royale games are about that. They're about shooting. And so maybe we can compare this to like other games that don't quite have like the whole FPS or, or even third party uh, shooter kind of uh, uh, shooter kind of gameplay. This is going to be WoW's version of it. And it might suck. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Not everyone's a fan of PvP style combat. Not everyone's a fan of even the feeling that they might end up being in PvP style combat. And so for some people, this feature is dead. It's it's a non-starter. Like OMG Blizz, where's the real patch notes? Okay, there are the patch notes. Let's find out what's going on. Let's look forward to season four. And some folks are just writing this off totally. I am curious, because again, I never played through this game mode, but I'm I'm mostly curious. I want to see what this experience is like. And and one thing that, uh, you know, a couple things that I that I'm trying to prevent myself from. I'm I'm, I'm trying to present prevent myself from jumping to like too many crazy conclusions. Like, OMG, this is going to change the game as we know it. They're going to bring Fortnite into WoW in the future. I don't quite see that. This feels like something cool that a number of people on the team decided to like, hey, dude, let's let's really get this thing together. They inspired the idea. The crew, the crew worked on it, put this thing together, and it might be neat. It might suck. But I think it's cool that they're trying uh, something very different, a wild departure of, of, of what's going on. Because there are certain things that, even for me, for someone who's been playing this game for like 20 years, things have started to feel uh, like a little bit stagnating, right? Uh, we've done the PvE stuff, we've done the PvP stuff, we've done raids and dungeons and outdoor content and live events and, and things like that. And this is something new that they're, tr that they're trying. And so I definitely want to give them that sort of chance uh, to give a new way to enjoy WoW. It's just that in this case, it's not WoW at all. It's a lobby-based game and, and and something just just really different. Some of my chat is saying that this should not have been advertised as as a WoW patch, and uh, I, I don't quite agree with that. I mean, now, again, th this is a very big departure from what WoW is, but I also look at this as uh, a battleground. Uh, th that's it. it. It's a battleground that, you know, with some PVE elements into it. If we think about things like Ashran and, um, oh, shucks, and, and Altrak Valley, you know, which was primarily PVP game modes, but it had some slight PVE elements into it. Uh, this is another take on it using what we're seeing in modern gaming out there, the battle royale genre. And so should they have hidden this? <laughs> was this worth... Uh, keeping a secret about was this worth not having on the PTR, and I guess it kind of is. I mean, like, like imagine if we did have knowledge about this on the PTR, and people were able to kind of like uh, think up strategies and stuff like that. And so the people who were on the PTR, they would have a very definitive advantage over people who did not, and they would just get farmed. Um, that yeah, I, I guess there would be kind of a uh, there'd be a definitely a consequence if there are people who have more experience versus others who don't. Now, as for like the, gen the, the general battle royale experience, I'm going to get farmed because I won't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just going to say, hey, what are these abilities and blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, other people, they're going to have like, they're going to have it in their mindset. Okay, here's what I need to do within this time because I know the map's going to shrink. So I'm going to move in. I'm going to move here a little bit closer. I'm just going to be like, oh, what's that over there? And I'm just going to kind of explore for a while and kind of like, you know, get get into that vibe and still get killed. Was it worth hiding though? I don't think any of I, I don't think much of anything is, is is worth hiding. I think we could have at least known about this without having you know. Even if we didn't get to test this out, I guess knowing about it would have helped. That way, people would have been able to be like a bit more mentally prepared to be like, okay, cool, ten two six is coming out. I'm not really going to do much out of it. I hope that there's other stuff that there's coming in this patch, um, but this. At least looking at the patch notes, it's very, very focused as uh, into like this singular like event. But it's, I admit that I'm kind of excited. This seems like a cool thing to try out, and I definitely want to try this out as soon as uh, as soon as realms go live. Now I do wonder like 
is this like the limit of the rewards that we're going to see? Because we saw like there's going to be 40 renowned levels. I really hope that it's not, you know, 40 renowned levels for like the hat, the shoulders, the chest, the belt, the wrists, the, I really want the, the trench coat though, the boots and, and all that stuff. Uh, but there's going to be 40 renowned levels. 40, you know, a track of 40 rewards. Actually, this doesn't even equate to 40. So we're going to get something out of this. Now, th there's like this argument being made that this is a game mode for PvPers or, 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 or whatnot. And I get it. I totally get the critique. But I think to myself, if I'm PvE um, motivated, I'm going to do whatever it is that I need to do to you know, complete, like to go up the renown track and get those levels. And then I'll feel like, okay, cool. I'm good. I'm good. Pe people who participate in the full event, I think it makes total sense that they would be able to get, you know, to travel down the reward track faster than people who are just like dabbling into like one part of the game mode. I don't think that's so bad, but these are rewards that I feel that are worth working for. And again, you know, you're working towards these things so you can get these for your character in game. You know, you're basically playing this other. It, it is kind of like doing a cross promo with some other game like Hearthstone or Heroes of the Storm or whatnot. You know, play this game mode, get some rewards for get some rewards for your main character. You might like it, you might hate it, and that's the risk that they're taking. One person saying it really depends on what character you bring to PvP. At least the person's experience. When I used to PvP back in. 2004 to 2011 fighting paladin suck they seem near unkillable and the thing is though we're not exactly fighting against class versus class we're just it's just a fight between players and the abilities that one player has is going to be different from someone else which is going to be different from someone else and then someone else again um so this i guess my biggest critique if, if i'm going to critique this thing one, I didn't need to be surprised about this thing, I don't think. But two, it's also not World of Warcraft. Some folks are going to look at, you know, just like, just like how some people looked at uh, dragon riding and like, oh, man, this does not feel good. This is really different from flying. And other folks are like, dude, it's still flying. It's even faster. But then, you know, they didn't like it. It just what it just didn't feel familiar to them. That's what I'm sure some people are going to look at this game mode as. They're going to be stuck on the idea that, oh, this is definitely PvP or, uh, you know, this is not my character. This doesn't feel I, I don't feel like I'm playing my character that I invested all my time and, and energy into over the past something, something years. And so I, I, I totally get that. You know, what what is being offered in 10 to 6? You know, there, there are patch notes and everything. There, there are class changes and all that stuff. But what's being offered as like the game mode is basically a battleground. It's a battleground where you don't even play as your character or your class or your spec or your role. Nothing like that. It's a it's a very, very different experience, and you just might not like it. Uh, the PC Gamer interview says that this will last six weeks. I wonder if that's when Season 4 launches. That sounds reasonable. Uh, six weeks until the uh, until the next patch. I, I was thinking like it was only going to be about four weeks or so, so but... I mean, it's not like there's anything stopping the season from starting while this event is still going on. If anything, it would make some of those people be like, okay, I'm going to get into the new season while the rest of us who are like not that big on like the PvP side of things, okay, cool, we could just do our own thing. And that might be it. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if there are matches where there's only like a handful of people that care about the PvP stuff and everyone else, you know, they see each other, but they're not going to, they're not going to straight up like start killing each other either. You know, people can opt, you know, they, they can maybe opt to work together, I suppose. So in conclusion, I don't have a conclusion because I haven't played this thing yet. All I have is the announcement and a gameplay trailer and a couple pictures. Um, this right here is kind of all I need to see. <laughs> I'd say this is the biggest takeaway for me. I want that set. And if I got a go into like this this kind of hostile place where I might end up killing everyone around me in order to get this set. I'm going to get this set. I will kill whoever it takes in order to get this, which includes just like, you know, PvE stuff. Um, but I'm excited to try it out. All right. 
it's got my curiosity. And I think that's the most that, that we could like ask for. If it was the same old stuff, cool. It's the same old stuff. It's nice. It's safe, whatever. Uh, but with them trying to, trying to uh, kick in something new, I appreciate the effort with, with trying to give us something that, that I might or might not like. Because this is going to be my first dip into uh, Battle Royale style gameplay. And if it works out great, cool. I'm going to be jumping in this whenever I feel like just having a quick play session of something. And I don't feel like doing this, you know, you know, farming for transmog or doing keys or running into LFR or something like that. This is something new that I can do within the confines of a place that I find safe, which is World of Warcraft. You know, it's like, it's like you know, how I talk about player housing a lot. People will say, hey, why don't you just play this game or that game because they have player housing. And I'm like, no, I want to play player housing and wow so that's why i'm going to keep campaigning for it because that it feel you know i want to take my character and my experiences and put it into this environment uh you know put it into this game mode that i feel is mine now that said this sort of experience is very disconnected from wow because we're not playing as our character or our class or our role and it's going to feel very different but in however many short hours we're going to try this out and we're going to see like how buggy it is and how unstable it is and, and, and how uh, and how wild uh, this turns out to be. Uh, but I'm going to look forward to joining with others and see what it's like. So those are, I guess, my takes, very early takes. But let's get some real takes later when we actually get our hands on this thing. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay breezy. Mm-hmm.